Yeah, this one is a long question. I'm solving this. Uh, it will take some time, so you have to be a bit patient with me. The question says that uh, you have a portfolio that is comprised of two stocks, stock A and stock B, and there are five states possible, and uh, the probabilities are given to you for all these five states. You are asked to calculate the standard deviation of the portfolio. Now, uh, not just that you have the states uh, of uh, the two stocks, you also have to calculate the states for your portfolio. What would happen if uh, state 1 happened, state 2 happened, and that would actually increase the uh, risk in your portfolio because you have high chances of uh, moving up and down. So f to start with, uh, we have to calculate the expected return of A. So the expected return of A is... Uh, uh, the probability multiplied by uh, the return so this probability multiplied by the respective return so that would come out to be 0.132 uh, for B it would be uh, the same thing probability multiplied by uh, the expected outcome now once we have the expected outcome we can then calculate the standard deviation of A and standard deviation of B. So the standard deviation of A is when we get 10% return. How far are we from the mean? And I'm locking the mean. I'm going to square this. I'm going to multiply this with the probability. So I am uh, finding out how far I am. I am squaring that number and multiplying that with probability. And when I do uh, the variance, I can find out which is the sum of that. So this is the variance. I am going to pull everything uh, deep down so that I can drag the formulas easily. So yes now I'm going to try to move this and see if I can create the formula so this is D9 I'm going to change this to now B so I want D9 yes minus B9 and in place of probability I want to have this okay so let me see if I did this right 0 0.77 which is B10 uh, B16 and D10 which is this multiplied by B10 which is the probability okay this is the variance and this is the standard deviation so let's calculate the standard deviation I'm going to move this uh, below the stock so that it is uh, easy for us I'm going to remove this and I'm going to make this as A and B so that everything is one below the other once we have this I'm going to use the square root and this is what is given in the question so this is the number that is used in the question I have the square root now I want to calculate the standard deviation of the portfolio the standard deviation of the portfolio is I'm given the weights the weight says 40 percent in A and 60 percent in B so it would be standard deviation square of that multiplied by weight square of that plus standard deviation of B square of that multiplied by weight square of that but I don't have the third term here which is the covariance so now I need to calculate the covariance so to calculate the covariance, I have to find out how things behaved when this was 10%, which was like greater, like smaller than, than, than the mean. This one is the mean. So how did uh, this behave? So to do that, I, in, the, in the column adjacent to that, I'll say probability of this happening minus the mean. I'm locking the mean multiplied by uh this minus the mean and i'm locking the mean because i'm going to drag that so i do that
and I take a square root of that so I get the correlation correlation comes out to be 0.33% let's check this here if that is right so in the solution that is given we have 1.5 1.1 uh, so let's see if we got 1.5 and 1.1 so we got 1.5 and 1 of 1.1 correlation is 0.33 it's not matching this is the weight portfolio uh, maybe this is the covariance let me just check oh we have to take a sum of that so i forgot to take the sum of that sum of this and I'm going to take a square root of this if I don't want to take a square root of this okay so we calculated the uh, uh, correlation so to calculate the correlation we find we found out the distance of uh, these numbers from the mean and multiplied them with the respective probabilities and we divided that by the standard deviation let me see if I can bring that formula here so this is this is the formula that I have used okay once we have everything now we are going to calculate the standard deviation which is standard deviation square weight square and um, plus it would be a long term so it would be first we'll multiply standard deviations then we will multiply weights then we will multiply that with by the correlation and we have a two before that so this is variance p and we want to find out standard deviation p so let's go there and see if i miss something 2 times 0 0.46 1 1.5 that come out to be 1.1 percent so we got the standard deviation as 1.1 percent it was a long step we have to use uh, these two formulas now uh, once we calculate the standard deviation we are only we can only say that okay the return of this portfolio is 